Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the talk. Okay, not the talk entertainment. But the viewpoints with me, your boy, the man, NJ to the city with the number two, and T.O. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have some topics to definitely discuss. Mainly, I think every last one of them has to do with perspectives, and then, um, well, yeah, every last one of them has to do with perspectives, and then some politics. Um... One of the top things to discuss is congratulations to my, or should I say our, proud and honorable niece, high school baseball Panthers, for winning, I believe, the uh, 7A uh, state championship. So yeah, they are 7A state champions, and I'm very, very happy and proud of them for doing that, because God knows how much I wanted that for them, how much I prayed for that, and definitely how much they definitely deserve it, and how hard they've been working this entire season for that. So very much shout out God bless. Thank you to all of them. And yes, uh, I will be bragging about that for the rest of my life as the proud ambassador of Nice High School, proud ambassador of St. John's County, proud, sorry, proud ambassador of Florida, proud ambassador of, you know, the sport team and a lot of other things like that. I will brag about that for the rest of my life. So once again, shout out God bless our proud and honorable Nice Panthers for that accomplishment. Uh, shout out, God bless them on that. It's all level 100. Once again, understand, you know what's up. Very, very proud of them. And um, again, I'm very proud of them because the fact being like, like again, like I've known most of those guys on that team for the last three, four years. And to know that, you know, it didn't work out for them with football. Even though shout out, God bless the football program at, at our school. Even though it, you know, you know, like as much of them or like mu much of them um, on the team play uh, played football. You know, so to know that it didn't work out with them with, you know, with, you know, with football for the past two seasons, trying to win a state championship or even trying to go deep into the playoffs, you know, even though it didn't work for them, you know, with that, it worked for them in something like baseball. I'm very, very happy and proud to see that and much love, much honor, much respect, much integrity to, to, to the team, to the boys, always in favor and to our coaching staff. That's a very big blessing. God, first one, once again, shame. And I'm very happy and very proud for them and it's something I definitely will be bragging about for the rest of my life. I'll be bragging about that legitimately for the rest of my life. I'll tell every generation that comes through Nice and any generation period that whether it's Nice or a, another high school, another middle school, I'll be like, you know, that, that, you know that's what we accomplished in 2017. 2017 baseball 7A state champions. Shout out God bless them. Shout out God bless all the people that we, you know, that we did your defeat on the way to getting there. But as well, you know, and, and we do wish them the best on the rest of their season. Well, we wish them the best on the next season and next season after that. But again, shout out God bless our boys for doing what they did, accomplishing what they did, and just going in there and taking care of business. Shout out God bless them. One more season has changed. Shout out God bless our school, Aladini's High School, for all the great improvements that are happening there and the new building that they pretty much have been working on for this entire year, which they pretty much just pretty much um, broke down and destroyed our um, what was originally our um, our uh, bus loop. They uh, destroyed that, and they had to relocate that over by uh, I think it's Port Away, right? Not, not, no, not Port Away. Um, it's amazing. Four years, and I still have not fully paid that much attention to the letters on, on the buildings, so. though. But uh, you, you get the point. You know, they had to, they had, they had to relocate that from the front of the school to to the side of the school. To the like, yeah, to yeah, to, to the side of the school, to the left side of the school, they had to relocate that. Um, so yeah, they went, yeah, so God bless that new building that they are building right there, which, you know, again, they had to de destroy the original bus loop for, or the, and or just the previous bus loop for, in order to, uh, build and construct, and so forth and so forth. I really am very excited for that for our school, and I'm very excited for all the new teachers that are moving in there, and I'm very excited for them as well, turning our current media center into a bunch of new classrooms. That's going to be very, very interesting to see how many classrooms they can fit in there. For me, that's gonna be very exciting to see how many classrooms they can actually fit in there. I wouldn't think that I wouldn't think that they could fit a ton, you know. But who am I can they can they can probably do more more with the space than what I think. So and definitely, I look forward to seeing that because the new media center is now moving into the new building. So I definitely look forward to to seeing all the new classrooms that are in there. And again, if any alumni want to stop by and check out the building, I think that you know, and definitely, you again, we're family, we're niece. So I definitely believe that y'all or y'all can, can 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 do that. If y'all want to stop by anytime and see the um, see the new building and so forth and so forth, y'all can. That that's just well, you know that's just my opinion and what I think that you can do. You know because you are welcome here. You know we're all family over there at Nice. So like I say, you know I, I but you know 
the biggest point is, like I say, very excited for the squad, very excited for the team, very excited for the school with the uh, new building, and very excited for all the new teachers that are moving in there, you know, like, you know, and so, so forth and so forth, you know. So hopefully if any alumni do want to come back, you know, to visit, you know, and check out the new building, I mean, I, I, I would think that you're more than welcome to, to uh, do that. So, um, you know, 116 is on the shame. Shout out God bless on that fact. And like I say, very excited for all the new teachers that are moving in there. And very excited for, um, you know, again, you know, all the greatness of which they've, uh, they, uh, they've done when it comes to uh, re-innovating our lunchroom this past year, which they, they did a phenomenal job at that. Shout out God bless our school with that. They did, they did a phenomenal job at that. And um, just know that East High School, once again, is definitely... Um, if not, if not the top, if not the top high school in uh, St. John's County, it is definitely the crown jewel of St. John's County high schools. If you ask me, and again, I'm the ambassador of the entire thing, so you know that's just how it goes for me, in my opinions, uh, on it. Which my opinions are definitely backed up by some type of fact. You know that if that if that if we're not the top, we're definitely a you know we're, we're definitely top five. You know, and definitely you know we definitely are. If you, in my opinion, we're the crown jewel of high schools. If we're not the you know, top dog of that pole, definitely the, you know, crown jewel of high schools. So in that, that point, shout out God bless, um, crown jewel Claire Crane, because I nicknamed her crown jewel back in our, back in our junior year, so shout out God bless her, because that's her nickname, crown jewel Claire Crane, so forth and so forth. But yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and take, I guess, the first six minutes to congratulate the Nice Boys baseball team on winning the uh, 7 8 state championship and uh, so forth and so forth. I have, again, multiple more topics to reach in here, but I just wanted to go and congratulate them on that. And um, whether or not you were listening to my music before you played the game, it's all 100. And um, just know that the new album titled The Viewpoints Part 2 is now... Um, it it it's been it's it's been available on my YouTube channel for at least a good you know half a month you know but at the same time like two weeks ago it was available cause, but you know I just, I just didn't start tweeting out links to it until like you know this week because it, I decided to really to officially release it as a done and finished project it, it, it's been a done and finished project I just decided to finally you know you know tweet out links to it as a final and a, a final done a, you know. A final and done finished project this past uh, Monday for, for Memorial Day. So shout out God bless as well Memorial Day. So the Viewpoints Part Two is my is is my Memorial Day album, and uh, so forth and so forth. And I look forward to um continuously uh releasing more new music because I have a lot of more new music in the stashes. So I never look forward to um releasing more new music and it all being Love One Hundred and all being you know Paradise and whatever else. So God first, one more is unashamed on that. Um, yeah, more new music, you know, I got a R&B album coming soon, I got a birthday album coming soon, because my birthday is June 11th, so I got a uh, birthday album coming soon, I got an R&B album, I got multiple albums coming this summer and coming in August and September, so forth and so forth. Um, um, hope you all like it, hope you all enjoy it, hope you all spread it and share it with your friends and your family, and continuously, you know, spread the positive news with the positive movements, which I'm promoting in the positive energy period that I'm prom promoting in the positive morals and values that I'm promoting my music. Hope you all, you know, catch on to that and, you know, lit, you know, lift, you know, lift it up because that's what we're all supposed to be on and so forth and so forth. And uh, shout out God bless Duval County as well, but Duval County I believe is in their last week of school because like I said, my original county is Duval County, so that's why um at least from my time there, um in Duval County from what I always knew is that Duval County uh, usually um, stays in uh, school for an extra two weeks after St. John's gets out, or at least this year. Well, actually, no, they, they've always done that. I think they, you know, at least for past God knows, like, five, seven, I don't know how many years. They've always been, like, 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 they, like they always went into, like, two weeks of June or one week, one, one week of June. And they always, and they, and they always started back school uh, a, a week or two, um, uh, like they always started back like a, a week or two before uh, the end of August, from what I definitely know. Because um, I kept thinking to myself when I was a Duval County student, I kept thinking to myself, why don't they just they just have a start school in September? You know, why why don't they just give us that extra you know week of rest and vacation? But I guess you had, I guess in that case you have to change it from from um, uh, um, having a whole nine weeks every quarter to I guess having eight weeks every quarter or whatever else that they would have to change it to. So I guess if they did that, so I'm trying to say, I guess if they did that, 
they 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 have they have to shorten our um our um you know shorten our um school quarters. Some kids wouldn't care. Trust me, some kids would not care about having a shortened school quarter since considering most not most, but some of them don't even like school period. But it is definitely my job and my duty over the rest of my lifetime by God's humble grace to help change that narrative and that theory and that ideology of hating school because we can all actually love school. You don't have to go to a private school to get a good education. You don't have to go to private school to get hospitality. You don't have to go to private school to get respect. You don't have to get, you don't have to go to private school to as well become, you know, how you know become great academically. Well, I already pretty much covered that from the first thing I said. But you also don't have to go to private school to become, you know, to be a state champion and be a part of great sports teams. And these high schools are definitely a prime example of that with what we just accomplished. Once again, congratulations. Nice High School 2017 Baseball, Boys Baseball State Champions. You know what's up. That's 100. But um, like I say, um, I will definitely be working the rest of my life by God's grace. You know, forever, however long He blesses me to live it. You know, live it to be trying my best to change that narrative of people saying they hate school. We can all we we can all love school. We can all love it. Honestly, we can all love school. And you you just have to think of it. You just have to think of it and look at it from certain viewpoints and try to take the blessing out of every situation. And if I have to be, and like I said, hopefully they, hopefully in Duval County and in St. John's, they let me be a, a, a volunteer or, a, or any really any county period. Because because if I need to be in that classroom to teach, you know, everybody how to take advantage of the blessings and how to look at the the blessings out of every situation, I'm definitely, you know, very happy to do that. And definitely because the again. The way I'm going to explain it is not rocket science, but it's going to be to where people are going to obviously be telling me that, you know, I sound very smart. But, you know, just know that even though I, I, even though I am going to sound smart, I still do now. Just know that my viewpoints on the blessings of, you know, every situation when it comes to whether it's school, life, love, relationships, just know that these, that these viewpoints are not rocket science. They're actually basic common sense. You know, you just have to try to go out. Sometimes you just have to go out your way to actually, you know, look at them and study them and, you know, and take advantage of them. But honestly, I can break it down in rocket science if you wanted me to. But, uh, yeah, this video has gone on to 12 minutes. Thank you all for watching and listening thus far. And um, uh, I guess I could also say, yeah, once again, um, Duval County has, like, I think a week left of school. And um, honestly, um, and just know that... Um, if they if they did just know that like if they if they if they did shorten our school uh quarter that means that you would definitely have to that's just I guess a few extra a few less days or a few less weeks that you would have to you know get your grade up so you would definitely have to try to make make the best do with what you can when it comes to you know um when it comes to you know.